Hello everyone. In the previous video, we created the employee table. Now we will start with the real, real, I'll say, real starting of the topic. How to create a puppy? How to create a puppy? If you remember, we covered puppies are implemented in the form of function module. It means we will create a function module. In that function module, we will write the logic. Then we will create a business object of that function module. So we'll start with the first part that we will create a function module and we will write the logic into that function module. Now, we all know whenever we want to create a function module, the first thing we should always, always create a function group. We should always create a function group. What is function group? Function group is a container for the function modules. Yes, you are all function modules stored into function group. So function group is a container for the function modules. So we will create a function group first, then we will create a function module. Now I will go to transaction code SC80. SC80 is the transaction code for the function group. From the drop down, I will choose function group. Now, I will give some name to the function group. Suppose I am saying ZFG, FG means function group, and I am giving suppose underscore employee underscore, I will give some serial number. I am pressing enter. It is asking, do you want to create the function group? Yes, I want to create the function group. I will give the short description. Suppose function group for employees, employed. I will click on to save. I will save into package. I will save into transport request. Now, after creating the function group, never, never forget to activate the function group. Right click on the function group and activate the function group. So our function group is active now. Now we will create a function module. Now just so I'll say the major, major important points will start here. You are simply not creating a function module. You have to create a business object also of that function module. Because what is BAPI? BAPI is a function module having a business object. So we are starting with the function module. Yes. But we need to create a business object also of that function module. It means we need to follow so many prerequisites while creating the function module itself so that whenever we will create business object, everything will be properly aligned. Otherwise, what will happen whenever you will create the business object, using that function module, you will receive lots of errors if you are not fulfilling all those prerequisites. So we will start with all those prerequisites one by one and most, most important points will cover now. So what are the prerequisites? What are the prerequisites? Now, whatever the function module name you will give, you will provide, we have a proper naming convention because we are using the word must. 
So whatever the function module name you will give, what are the naming conventions for the same? First is namespace. Namespace means we are creating our own BAPI. So we will give the name starting with Z or Y. It is compulsory that you have to use the word BAPI. First, most important prerequisite, whenever you are creating a BAPI, the name, name, the function module name should start with BAPI keyword. Now, we have a underscore. Underscore, we have the business object name and underscore, we have the method name. This business object and method name you will realize later whenever we will create the business object of the function module. But we are creating function module. So we will follow this proper naming convention. And I will show you the SAP BAPI also so that you can make a clear picture in the mind. So I will go to SC37 transaction code. We all know that we can create a function module through SC37 transaction code. SC37 function group we created through SC80. Now we will go to SC37 transaction code. So I will go to SC37 transaction code. So what is the first, first prerequisite we have to follow? namespace keyword is BAPI underscore suppose my name of the business object is my name of the business object is suppose I will go for employee whenever we will create the business object I will follow this name I will follow this name underscore method suppose my method name is create as of now just understand that we have to give the method name once we will move on to business object you will automatically understand what method is so i gave the proper naming conventions proper prerequisites because we want to create a business object of this function module so, but the proper naming convention, namespace, BAPI is the keyword, underscore your business object, underscore your method name. Just compare it to your, I will show you any already available BAPI, only already available SAP BAPI. Suppose, I will show you any already available SAP BAPI, you can easily, easily compare. Suppose I'm going for this BAPI, BAPI material save data. Is this starting with a BAPI keyword? Yes, because it is SAP namespace. So Z is not there. Now BAPI underscore. Now what is this material? This material is the name of the business object. And what is this save data? It is name of the method. It is name of the method. So we have BAPI, business object and method. And once the topic will proceed, you can easily, easily compare. Now I will click on to create button. I will provide the function group which I created. So we will provide the function group. This is the function group which I created. I will provide the short text. Suppose we will write BAPI for employee. We will click on to save button. Yes. We will activate the function module. So now we fulfilled the first prerequisite. Our function module name is starting with BAPI keyword, underscore business object name, and underscore method name. 
Now we will go for second most important prerequisite now. Okay. Now we will go for import. We all know import stands for input, export stands for output, and in the source code tab, we are writing the logic. Those who know the topic function module, it's very good. Those who don't know, just understand import is for input, export is for output, and in the source code tab, we are writing the logic. Now, import, import. So we have two input things. What is the first input? Employee ID. What is the second input? Employee name. So this is what we are creating a BAPI for what? To store the employee data. And we have how many columns? Employee ID and employee name. Now we will go for second most important prerequisites. Whatever the types you will provide. Suppose. I'll firstly go for parameter name. Suppose my parameter name is P employee. Suppose my parameter name is P employee. Type. Now, whatever the types you will provide, whatever the types you will provide, Compulsory, compulsory, it should start with namespace and BAPI keyword. It means whatever the types you will provide here, compulsory, we have to use the naming convention, namespace and BAPI. Otherwise, we will get a error. It is compulsory. So what I will do, I will go to SC11 transaction code and I will create a structure of two columns because we have two things, employee ID, employee name. And what is the naming convention we have to follow for the structure? Z, BAPI, compulsory, compulsory. This is compulsory. Now I will give some other, I will give some name. Suppose I am saying Z, BAPI employee and I am giving some serial number. I'll click on to create button. I will go for structure. I will put structure for employee. What will be the first column in the structure? Employee ID. We already created the data element for employee ID. I'll simply, simply pass it here. Second column is employee name. I will pass the data element of employee name. I will save. I will save into package and transport request. And I will activate the structure. This structure I will pass in the associated type of the function module. And you can see we fulfilled the second prerequisite. Second prerequisite is this type is starting with namespace and BAPI keyword. Yes, it is starting with this. Now simply, simply compare it to your SAP already available SAP BAPI. This is the already available SAP BAPI. Just see, is the all parameters type is starting with a BAPI keyword? We all worked on so many BAPI, but I think many times we are simply missing these things. So your all types are starting with a BAPI keyword, already starting with a BAPI keyword. Now, maximum time people will say, you put a parameter of this particular structure type and you passed both the columns together. But if I want to go for individual, means I want to go for two separate columns. First one, employee ID, second one, employee name. 
you can go for that also but just remember how you will give suppose you are not going by this way suppose you are saying i will go for two separate things employ id separate but here just see how i will give here i will simply copy this structure hyphen and you can see what is the column name in the structure employ id suppose I'm going for second column, employee name, second parameter type, and I will give this particular structure hyphen employee name. Just see types are starting with BAPI keyword, BAPI keyword only. If you want to go for, if you want to refer individual, it's okay. No problem at all, but you have to refer the structure name first which is starting with BAPI keyword. It's your wish. You want to go for together. It's your wish. In this structure itself, we have both the columns available. So this parameter has both. This parameter consists of both the columns. If you want to go for individual one, no problem at all. But please refer, please refer like this only. Otherwise, you whenever you will create a business object, you will get an error. It's your wish how you want to go. You want to make a collective parameter, which is of this structure type and structure has two columns. If you want to go for individual, individual parameter, it's your wish. But just remember the type should start with the BAPI keyword. We refer the particular column. We refer the particular column. So, but we studied in this particular video, we started with creation of the function module and later we will create a business object of that function module. So we fulfill the, so we created the function group because whenever we want to create a function module, the first thing we need to create a function group. Function group is a container for the function module. Then we started with the creation of the function module, but we are not creating a normal function module. We are not simply, simply creating a function module. We need to create a business object later also. So whenever we will create a function module, we need to follow so many prerequisites so that business object will not give any error. And what the first prerequisite we fulfilled, we gave the name, namespace BAPI underscore business object underscore method name. First, first prerequisite and the second prerequisite, whatever the associated types you are providing, it should, should start with namespace and BAPI keyword. If you are going for collective, it's okay. If you are going for individual one also, remember they should always, always start with a BAPI keyword. Now in the next video, we will continue this particular thing. That's it in this video. Thank you.